Hey there and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to go over the best 25 tips and tricks for the new iOS 15. So let's begin with the video now. So on place number one, we're going to have set up focus modes. So focus is sort of like Apple's take on the good old I am away message, but for the modern era. In short, this iOS 15 trick enables you to set up several profiles for different scenarios that give you more control over how you interact with your phone. You can set up focus profiles by heading to settings, then go to focus. You will find preset modes for generic do not disturb along with sleep personal and work, with the latter two ready to be set up. Tap on either and follow the on-screen instructions to customize the focus mode, and once complete you can activate it via the control center. Focus profiles are extremely customizable so you can really go ham experimenting on what works best for you. On spot number two we're going to have schedule your notifications. Some notifications are necessary and most aren't. Still, sometimes you want to know about an Uber or Postmates discount code, just not whenever it is the app decides to bug you. The nice thing about iOS 15 is that you can now bundle the not so important notifications and schedule them to show up at a time of your choosing. To set this up, you just have to go to settings, notifications and scheduled summary and toggle it on. You will be then prompt to set up the system, add in the apps you would like to contribute to the notification summary, and set the time you would like to appear. Next up, we're going to have Use Tap Groups in Safari. So we aren't in love with some of the new changes to Safari in iOS 15, however, tap groups are pretty awesome. We usually have like 100 tabs open in Safari on the phone at any given time, so organizing them is a lifesaver. All you have to do is hit the pages button on the search bar which is now confusingly at the bottom of the Safari app and from there you will get the option to group your open tabs into categories, easy peasy. On place number 4 we have FaceTime Android and Window users. This iOS 15 trick lets you enable anyone, even if they don't have an Apple device, to join a FaceTime call with you by creating a link, tapping add name at the top of the action menu that appears. Select a method of sharing your link from across the actions menu, for example over messages or email, and once you have sent the link and the recipient opens it, they will be directed to a web page where they can enter their name to join the conversation. Once they've joined the call, they'll have the usual FaceTime options to mute their microphone, disable video, switch their camera view, and leave the call. Next up, use portrait video and audio effects and third party apps. So the new FaceTime portrait video feature in iOS 15 isn't actually exclusive to FaceTime. It can also be used to create a blur in video calls conducted via other apps like Zoom or Snapchat. To use it, start recording a video or audio in an app. With the video being recorded, just swipe down from the top right corner of your screen to open the control center. Touch video effects and then select the effect and then mic mode for the sound effect. On place number 6 we have remove home screen pages. With iOS 14, Apple offer an option to hide home screen pages on the iPhone. With iOS 15, you can remove the home screen pages entirely from the default interface. You can remove the home page in iOS 15 by long pressing on the empty screen on the home screen and select dot menu above the dock. First, disable the home screen page that you want to hide and then tap on the minus icon at the upper left corner to remove the home screen page. Next up, organize your notes. So if you are a heavy notes user, then you'll be happy with this trick. You can now use hashtags to more conveniently sort and categorize your random brain dumps. If you're someone who uses shared notes, you can also add other users and view edit history in the new activity section. Next up, enable iCloud Private Relay. Private Relay has your IP address and Safari browsing activity from network providers and websites so that no one, including Apple, can see who you are or what sites you are visiting. It is basically a stripped down VPN service on offer. Private Relay is only available with paid iCloud plans and you can enable the options from settings. Then you go to Profiles, iCloud, and Private Relay menu. 
on place number 9 we have hide IP address from all websites. So iOS 15 now allows you to hide IP addresses from both the third party trackers and websites. Start the settings app on your phone and then head to Safari. Then you go to privacy and security and select hide IP address and select trackers and websites. On place number 10, we have use your phone to scan any text. So this new iOS 15 trick lets you pull any text from pictures you take or have saved on your phone. And once you have pulled the text, you can paste it into any text field. It's great for quickly sharing addresses, phone numbers, and anything else you don't want to type out manually. To use the iPhone's new scan text feature, long press inside a text field as if you're going to use the copy and paste prompt only you'll now see a scan text button. You may also see a button that uses just a scan icon which looks like a piece of paper with brackets around it. Tap the button which will then replace your keyboard with your iPhone camera's viewfinder. Point your camera at whatever you want to scan and then follow the prompts on the screen. For instance, if you're moving the camera too fast, you will see a slow down message flash on the screen. On place number 11, we have move Safari's address bar back to the top of your screen. So Apple made a considerable huge change to its mobile Safari on iPhone running iOS 15 or above. The URL address bar, which is on previous iOS version, was always stated afloat on top, now shifted to the bottom of the screen. While personally I do think it's a good move, mainly because now it's easier for me to reach the URL address bar without the need to stretch my thumb. When using Safari on your iPhone, tap the AA button on the address bar, don't long press it, just a tap, and then at the top of the menu it will show you a new option label show top address bar. Tap it to move the address bar up top. On place number 12, we have get real-time precipitation alerts from the iPhone's weather app. So another iOS 15 tip is that you can see real-time snow and rain alerts in the weather app. You can turn on the new precipitation alerts by opening the weather app, then tapping the three-line icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. Next, tap the circle icon with the three dots in the top right corner of the screen, followed by notifications. Slide the switch next to my location to the on position and then tap done. If you have more cities added to the weather app, you can also turn on alerts for each one. Now drag and drop between apps. With nifty drag and drop gestures, moving files from one place to another feels ever so smooth. Simply pick up the files you wish to move across apps and then drop them at all desired destinations and you're good to go. If you find this multitasking feature helpful, you would be happy to know that this iOS 15 tricks lets you drag and drop images, documents, and text from one app to another. Just start the photos app and view your recent photos. Don't tap on a picture to open it full screen, instead place a finger on the photo and start dragging your finger across the screen. Don't lift your finger when the thumbnail starts to float over the rest of the photos and then switch back to messages app. You will see a green circle with a plus sign. It will show up in the thumbnail indicating that you can lift your finger and the photo will be placed in the text field, ready for you to send. Now in place number 14, we have get more information about your photos. So I've always had to use third party apps if I wanted to view any finer details stored in the EXIF data about a photo I was sent or took myself. Now whenever you're viewing a photo on the Photos app, you can swipe up to open an information view that will detail where you saved the photo from, as well as of the EXIF information such as shutter speed, location, and the camera used, and so on. On number 15th, we have change your iPhone's text site for a specific app. One of the best hidden new iOS 15 tricks is the ability to adjust accessibility settings on a per app basis. So you can for example keep the text small for your email but make it bigger for Twitter or vice versa. To use the new feature open the settings app then go to control center and scroll down until you find the option labeled text size by tapping on the green plus sign. The next time you're in an app you want to adjust the text size. Just open the control center, swipe down from the top right corner of the screen, and then tap on the text side button. Slide the button at the bottom of the screen to the left side of the toggle to indicate you only want your changes applied to the app you're currently using. And then adjust the font size up or down. Next up, set background sounds on your iPhone. So background sounds is similar to a third party noise generator app but baked into accessibility settings. You get six sounds options. You have balanced, bright, dark noise, ocean, rain, and stream. 
To activate background sounds on your iPhone, you just have to go to settings, accessibility, audio slash visual, and then background sounds. From here, you can tap the toggle at the top to turn on the sound, set a volume level, and more. Next up, watch movies and TV shows together using FaceTime. So both parties need to be using FaceTime on an Apple device that supports iOS 15, iPadOS 15, or macOS Monterey for SharePlay to work. SharePlay is not compatible with the browser version of FaceTime available to non-Apple device users. Start the FaceTime app on your iPhone and initiate the call. Once the call has connected, tap the SharePlay button at the top right corner of the screen in the new control panel. Tap Share My Screen in the drop down, and after a 3 second countdown, screen sharing will initialize. Now navigate to the TV app or another streaming app, select something to watch, and then press Play. Select Share Play when the prompt asks you if you want to share play content. Other people on the call will also be asked whether they want to join with you or not. Next up, track your iPhone with Find My even if it's turned off. So Find My iPhone is a great way to keep track of a potentially lost device, but if someone stole your phone, all they have to do is power it down to disable tracking. Find My may show your device last location if you enable that in settings, but that's not much help. With this iOS 15 trick, an iPhone that has been turned off will actually enter an ultra low power state that keeps the Bluetooth beacon active, effectively turning your iPhone into an AirTag. You will see a little iPhone findable after power off notice under the slide to power off interface too. Now keep night mode off. For the most part, night mode in the camera app on modern iPhones is a great thing. It can absolutely transform photos taken in a very low light. If the camera app detects a dark scene, night mode is enabled automatically, but sometimes you want that dramatic dark effect and it's annoying to disable night mode to get it. You have to type the night mode indicator and then slide the timer down to 0 seconds. But with iOS 15, you can head to settings, then camera, and then preserve settings to find an option to preserve your night mode settings. With this enabled, night mode will remember when it has been turned off and won't re-enable itself. If you want to take a night mode shot, you can manually tap the night mode indicator to enable it yourself. Next up, adjust video playback speed. So apps like YouTube have had variable speed playback for some time now, but the default iPhone video player has not. In iOS 15, the default player has playback speed controls. When playing back a video, tap the overflow menu in the lower right, and you'll be able to select from up to 5 different playback speeds. Next up, share things with Siri. So with this iOS trick, you can finally just ask Siri, simply say, hey Siri, share this with whatever name, or something similar like send this to this name, and Siri will share the content on the screen to that person using messages. Items like images, web pages, Apple Music or podcast, Apple News stories, and map locations will share the actual content. And for the content Siri can't share, it will warn you that it can only be sent a screenshot, but Siri will still automatically take that screenshot and drop it in a message to that person. Now we're gonna have translate everywhere. With this iOS 15 tip, you can translate text just about anywhere, in almost any app where you can select text. Just tap and hold on a block of text to show the text selection window and drag the start and end points, just as you would if you were going to copy or paste. Then you will notice the little pop-up menu has a new translate option, and in some apps you might have to hit the right arrow to see more options. Next up, keep an eye on app activity. So Apple is always expanding privacy features and with this iOS 15 trick, you have a powerful new tool to find out which apps are accessing your phone's features and data. Start the settings app, then tap privacy and scroll down to the bottom to record app activity. You will have to enable this at the top of the screen. This will record a 7 day summary of exactly when and how often all your apps access things like your microphone or which web domains they visit. Just come back to the screen a week later for a full report. Now in place number 24 we have set recovery and legacy contacts. So Apple has two welcome new features in iOS 15. Account recovery contacts are people you trust that Apple can contact to help you reset your passcode if you ever lose it. They can't actually access your data, but if you initiate a password reset but are logged out of your own device, the reset code can be sent to that contact. 
and to enable it, start the settings app, then tap on your profile at the top, then choose password and security, and then account recovery. You will see an option to add recovery contact. Now last but not least, use Spotlight from lock screen. So Spotlight Search is a tool you get when you swipe down on the screen to search your iPhone. iOS 15 adds another way to access Spotlight Search to another, extremely convenient area, which is the lock screen. To use this iOS trick, simply swipe down on the lock screen to pull down Spotlight Search. Your iPhone doesn't even have to be unlocked first, so you can use this feature whether you're holding your phone up or flat down on a desk. However, if you decide to tap on something, you will need to unlock your iPhone to continue. Alright everyone, so that was it for today's video. If you got some valuable information out of it, please don't forget to give it a like and also leave a comment down below on what you think. Subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications every time we post a new video. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.